and it's like they're complete. And like he told the dog, I'll take care of you forever. It is a reunion five years in the making tonight. An Arlington soldier has his military dog back. And our Kristen Severance joins us to explain how this finally happened. Ryan Henderson says he always planned to adopt the dog he served with overseas. Instead, the Army gave the dog to a family in North Carolina. Now with the help of his family members, lawmakers and attorneys, his battle buddy is back home. It's a moment Ryan Henderson has waited so long for, he still can't believe it's real. It's hard to believe. It's so hard to believe. Sit. Good boys. Good boys. Ryan and Satan went to war together. Dog saved his life. There are stories he'll never tell you that I've heard him tell me of how the dog has saved them in different situations. Satan was Ryan's tactical explosives detector dog. They were separated exactly five years ago this month. Ryan had a grand mal seizure in Afghanistan and was flown to a hospital in Germany. From the day he got hooked up with the dog until he got injured, every day they were either on a mission or they were training. And that's his life. Ryan recovered, retired, and started the process of trying to adopt Satan. But the Army had given the dog away. He was one of more than 200 military dogs adopted to agencies and civilians after the Army ended the TED program in 2014. The handlers say they were never contacted, Good never point. given a chance to adopt their dogs. My phone number and email have been the same since before I joined the Army. Ryan eventually found the family that adopted Satan. But Norman and Sean Richardson made it clear they would not be giving the dog back. He's become an integrated part of my, my house, my family, my children love him. Ryan contacted lawmakers. The real shame of it is the Army didn't follow the law as Congress laid it out. And told his story to CBS 11 last May. I just want him back. Members of the National Animal Law Conference saw our story and asked Ryan to speak at their annual event. When I went to the conference, that's what everybody told me. They said, if someone can help you, there's a lady here. She's actually here this weekend. You need to talk to her before you leave. That lady was North Carolina attorney Marilyn Forbes. She said, I'm doing it pro bono. I don't need a thing. I don't want anything. You know, getting him back will be enough payment for me. They filed a lawsuit against the family, saying the adoption violated Ryan's right of first refusal. I had told Marilyn I was prepared for the long haul. Again, the Richardsons vowed to fight. I know ultimately at the end of the day, I may not be able to stop that, but uh, you know, I'm going to try. But just days after that interview, Ryan got a call from Marilyn. She, um, told me that Mr. Richardson decided to give Satan back to me. I called my dad. And he said, uh, give me a minute, I don't have the words. We're getting Satan back, but we got to go now. And I said, well, let's go. The father and son drove through the night. A day later, Ryan and Satan were reunited in North Carolina. I saw him again for the first time, and we got to play again for the first time. And, um, and then we came home. A trip that's still surreal. On the way home, we're driving down the highway. I'm looking at him in the back seat, but I don't really believe he's back there. And I said, reach back and touch him. Make sure he's here. Ryan says they're both a little bigger and a little older. He's uh, got some gray hairs like I do. You know, we're both getting a little salt and pepper. But the two picked up like no time had passed. Los. It just means let go. With Satan obeying commands in check like he was trained. They could understand English, the guys we were fighting, half of them. You say it in check, they don't know what I, they can't confuse the dogs. I wondered if he would, and I mean, he never skipped a beat. The Richardsons didn't give a reason why the change of heart. Ryan doesn't need one. I don't know what changed his mind. So I'm just really glad that he did and thankful that he did. He did a great thing. Out. My son would not be here today. Was it not for that dog? But uh, it's all better. It's all better. Even though the fight for Satan is over, Ryan says he's not done. He vowed to help the other handlers trying to get their Ted dogs back. Now, the Army's Office of Inspector General is investigating this entire adoption situation. The report should be done this summer. We'll be sure to share it with you as soon as we have it. I'm consumer justice investigator Kristen Severance. I don't know about your house in here. Tough to find a dry eye in this studio. If you need consumer justice, you can contact Kristen. Call her at the number there on your screen or shoot her an email. Consumer